All right, next, uh, part two of this, we're going to talk about how radiation is measured. Um, we're going to go over this very briefly. Um, so radiation is measured with a Geiger counter. The Geiger, the Geiger counter detects beta and gamma radiation. I don't know if you've seen this, but it'll just go tick, 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 tick. And once you, it sees a lot of uh, heavy radiation, it will tick faster and louder. Um, not louder, faster, it seems louder, but faster. And when you see less, it goes lower. It is, uh, uh, it uses ions produced when radiation uh, uh, is collected in that, um, in that uh, instrument uh, and it creates an electrical current for that uh, sound. Okay. Another way uh, ra radiation can be measured, especially if you're working in a lab, is a dosimeter. Basically, it measures your exposure to radiation. You can wear this as a badge or a ring. When I was working in the laboratory, I actually wore a badge and a ring uh, to see how much I am exposed to it, uh, to the things that I'm working with. So it will record, um, because it's in your, near your hand and near your, uh, near your uh, torso, it can record the type of uh, radiation that's coming towards you. And so uh, every uh, uh, three months or every six months or every year, I would, I would turn in that badge and, and it and it will be analyzed and it will let me know how much radiation I've been exposed to. And most of the time it's very low and then you get a check mark for good, you, you are doing safety work. Some of you will be going into different fields that will require you to be exposed to radiation so you might, will, uh, so you might be, uh, be wearing these things also. The units of radiation, um, we, don't, we won't go uh, into details, you don't have to know this uh, by heart. You just have to be familiar with them and just have been introduced to them. Um, the main unit here is the Curie, after, named, after, uh, Murray, Mar named after Marie Curie, the founding scientist of, radiation, of modern, radi uh, modern uh, nuclear chemistry. And there is a definition for Curie. Another uh, unit you might be hearing is a Baccarel, and there's a definition for Baccarel. Another one is a RAD, which stands for radiation absorbed dose. And lastly, the gray, uh, again, the definition is, uh, the definition is there. Okay. Here, uh, you can read in your textbook some more, some, uh, some more about the average uh, annual radiation received by a person in this table here. Uh, it might be surprising to you to see um, some of these numbers, the units are in millirems. Um, some natural sources, the highest amount you get is 50 from wood, concrete, and brick. Um, whereas in the medical field, you receive less than that from the natural world, right? A chest x-ray, for example, is 20, a dental x-ray, uh, 20, mammogram, 40, so on and so forth. Um, but again, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's in the dosage and the frequency of the dosage, right? So you don't want to have too many of these things done to you. Uh, when you get a little bit higher there, the tracked x-ray is uh, 200. And then there are other sources, like for example, if you live near a nuclear power plant, um, uh, it does give you uh, some measurements there, even from your television. Uh, so another chart that, is, that could be interesting to you is how much radiation dosage can cause sick, uh, sickness, right? So again, the larger the dose radiation received at one time, the greater the effect on the body. So there's this um, figure called the LD50, which is the amount of radiation um, that is the lethal dose for half of the population. So let's say, for example, in um, insects, if you had 100 insects, there and they all receive 100,000 REM as their dose, about 50 of them will die. So that's what LD50 means, 50% 50 of them will die. Um, so it turns out that uh, insects can outlive other animals when it comes to being poisoned by radioactivity. See here that rat just needs 800, humans 500. I don't know why dog is more sensitive, 300 though something to figure out. Maybe you can research that. Okay, so another background story is in um, 
when we started making more regulations was when back in the day they didn't know radiation was that bad it, they just know that something that it is something that actually glows in the dark so what is a cool thing that can glow in the dark um, that could be useful uh, watch right so they started painting putting radiation or uh, or uh, elements that is radioactive into paints so that it can when they paint something on the watch it can glow in the dark so there's these ladies these workers they're called ghost woman after a while um, because they've been poisoned with this uh, 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 radiation ca called radium, actually. That's the same thing that Marie Curie worked on. So as they were painting these uh, clocks to, to get the paint wet, they sometimes would lick it. And, and after many years of exposure licking radiation, they start to have um, tumor growth and cancer uh, in that same region. Because of their radiation, they glow so much sometimes that people write about seeing them walking in the street at home, walking home at night, and there would be a halo around them because they'd be glowing with radiation. Pretty disturbing, right? Sadly, um, yes, many did die, and because of all these things back in the day when we didn't know it much, um, later than, when, than we did, we started um, kind of regulating it more, and we don't see that uh, particular uh, uh, issue uh, with um, radiation. And nowadays, another place where you can see new uh, radiation is a nuclear power plant. Nuclear power uh, plant. We have one here in California. If you drive down San Diego, many of you have seen. Drive down to San Diego. Uh, many of you, many of you have seen this on the five freeway near the ocean. Now, I mentioned the chart earlier about those living near a power plant can receive some radiation, but it's very small, 0.1 millirem a year. Compare this to when it does, there's an explosion or a catastrophe that happens, like in Chernobyl in Ukraine, the former Union, Union, uh, Soviet Union in 1986. Um, in that time, um, there was a nuclear meltdown and there was uh, contamination all over this town called Chernobyl. Um, and it's basically an abandoned town right now because the radiation there is one rem per hour, not even per year. Um, it's pretty much abandoned, but you can Google it and see how nature has reclaimed it because people have abandoned the city. Uh, trees started to grow there and animals started going back there. Not sure it's super safe, but it is uh, happening. Trees are, are reforesting it. It's pretty cool.